Welcome to this step-by-step -step user guide of Buller's Parametric Rings by Mantec Technical Ceramics. Step 1. Selecting the most appropriate Buller's ring type, whose central temperature spread is nearest to your kiln's peak firing temperature. There are five ring types to choose from. Very low temperature, low temperature, standard temperature, extended temperature, and high temperature. Step two, positioning. The aim is to establish an accurate map of the overall heat distribution within the kiln. To do this, you'll need to position the bullet's rings in a number of different locations throughout the kiln and alongside the product to be fired in accordance with the predetermined plan. Here's a typical example. Uh, as shown. Mark the corresponding position numbers onto the bullers rings. Step three, measuring bullers rings. Once the kiln firing has taken place and the bullers rings have reached their ambient temperature, remove them from the kiln car. Insert the fired bullers ring between the two converging guide rails. Then take the corresponding bullers ring value from the top of the ring against the engraved scale. Step four, recording. Record the fired bullers ring number onto your kiln record sheet against the position in which it was placed inside the kiln. Mantec recommends that kiln firing results are always recorded in terms of the bullers ring value, BRV, reading obtained by using one of its bullers ring gauges. The BRV reading is the simplest and by far the easiest and quickest way of recording and comparing firing results as it enables you to record your kiln's heat work, the action and effect of temperature over time on firing a ceramic product, as a single easy to compare number.
if bubbles rings are being used for the first time, then you'll need to establish acceptable minimum and maximum shrinkage rates. This is based on creating a Buller's Ring reading in conjunction with the final quality of your fired ceramic product. To do this, you will first need to fire a number of rings alongside your product. These results then become your company's unique acceptable standard for comparison against future firings. Step five, interpreting results and taking corrective action. All kilns and furnaces are different and there is no single remedy for under or over firing. If needed, Mantec Technical Ceramics has an experienced technical support team available to help you with any queries on the use of Buller's rings. As a general point, lower readings, under firing, indicate that less heat work has taken place, either locally or overall. High readings, overall firing, indicate that more heat work has taken place, either locally or overall. Step six, calibration. Once you receive a new batch of Buller's rings, it is necessary to calibrate them against your existing batch under your own firing conditions. By calibrating between different batches of Buller's rings, you're able to maintain meaningful records of your kiln performance over days, weeks, months and years. Placing existing rings on the kiln for normal use, but also place a ring from the new delivery next to the ring from those in current use. Once the firing has been completed, measure the two sets of rings. In many cases, the two sets of results will be almost equal. However, in practice, there may be slight differences between the two sets of readings. As an example, if the existing rings give readings of 30 to 32, an average of 31, and the newly delivered rings give readings of 31 to 33, an average of 32, a corrective factor of minus one should be used when comparing the performance of firings measured by the existing rings with that of the new rings. Therefore, in this case, all readings from the new delivery should have one point deducted to be the same. Thank you for choosing Mantec Technical Ceramics Buller's Parametric Rings. For further information, please visit our website www.mantecrefractories.com.